Good morning, welcome to Sterling High School TV Studio. It is April 22nd, 2021. I'm Jared Claiborne, and I'm joined by Mrs. Joyce Phillips, our art teacher here at school. How are you doing? How is your family? My family is doing really well, playing lots of sports and staying busy. And obviously I've been very busy too, and I'm doing really well. Awesome, thank you for joining me. We're gonna talk about the art show coming up, but before we get to that, I have a couple other announcements. So quarter four, we are now into. Report cards have been posted. You can go on on course and view those. Uh, I wanna thank all parents and teachers, anyone who participated in parent-teacher conferences, which occurred on this past Tuesday. Just remember, some of those, that conference kind of feel is almost a, a thing of the past. You, as a parent, have access to email your teacher at any point, contact them, and wow, what amazing technology we have through Teams and Zoom. Um, you can communicate with your teachers, and they are there to meet with you. So at any point, please contact them. Obviously, give them time to respond to you. Uh, again, we have a reminder that we have a senior parent meeting for the class of 2021 coming up on next Monday night. Uh, you need to check your email if you are a senior parent or guardian for that Zoom link. It's on Monday night at 8 p.m. We're gonna talk about prom upcoming and all of the senior activities, including graduation, current plans, which of course we're still waiting for the governor to give us some more guidelines. So that stems right through the county that uh, puts their touches on it and allows us to do what's best for our school specific to Sterling High School, but we are committed to providing a experience for the seniors. And so with that, um, those are our, my major announcements. Really, I wanted to highlight this week is talk about the art show. So it is the 2021 art show. Um, Mrs. Phillips, Mrs. Patel, our art department, are the lead members putting that together. Uh, traditionally, this would happen in the old gym. Correct. But, but we're making changes. We are. All right, so tell us, tell us some of the changes that we, we did this year. Okay, so in an effort to keep the art show moving and to um, spread it out so that we're not all in one space for obvious uh, safety reasons, we've decided to kind of map it out throughout the course of, of the building. Um, and then an additional um, safety precaution that we decided to make this year is Guests who come to view the artwork um, are encouraged to make a reservation through our Sign Up Genius. So we're only allowing um, a certain number of people in the building at a time. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to keep the flow moving and I'm um, looking forward to a really great turnout. Great. So I sent out the email last week with the Sign Up Genius. I'll send it out again this week. We tweeted it out, of course. So sign up. You can, any guests can come. We just have limited numbers. We're doing like about 10 every five minutes. Um, you will have to check. Yes, that's yes. right. <laughs> we'll have to check. Uh, you'll have to check in. We're going to do the temp check, make sure and wear the mask, obviously. But a uh, wonderful experience. Now, we did for the students. Um, it's already set up right now, really, right? It is. It's set up because we wanted the students to be able to walk through the show while they're here for our hybrid students. So the show is set up. We have our blue students today who are able to walk through and, and take a look at the work that they've done. And then tomorrow, of course, the silver students will have the same opportunity. And then it'll be opened up for the community on Friday, as we mentioned, from 3 to 7 p.m. Now, we, one thing we're not going to have is it is not like the traditional inter-district art show. We don't have contributions from them. But that's, that's okay. We're, we're pr proud to provide an opportunity for our students to showcase some of their work. Now, exactly. There was a lot of work that you and Ms. Patel did. Just uh, We had to gather some of this because we've got um, wonderful, talented students that are just fully remote. Correct. Um, and even, honestly, the hybrid students are still mostly only here for two days a week. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, a majority of this work is being done at home. And that posed some challenges, I would say mainly um, in terms of supplies. So in a typical school year, we would be working with clay and I would be firing items in the kiln. Um, we would probably work larger scale on canvas with acrylic paint. Um, we, do, we tend to do other, um, other mediums such as um, quilling. We do more fiber art. This year I've had to sort of modify the lesson plans in a way that was considering students who were maybe working at their kitchen table or in their bedroom to get the assignments done. And having said that, I'm really proud of the work that they managed to do in a remote setting. 
Um, one, of, one of my most favorite changes that I've made is um, for 3D art, I typically give the kids clay and we work on pinch pots and um, uh, we'll do, you know, coil design. And I couldn't think of a way to do clay in a remote way. Yeah. So this was the first year I introduced book sculpture to my lessons. Yeah. And I'm so pleased with how they've turned out. They're really, really cool. I'm getting a lot of great feedback on them. So that's something I'm going to take with me. So even when this pandemic is behind us and things are back to normal, I'm going to keep that in my lessons because I really am pleased with the turnout and the kids enjoyed it. Awesome. Okay, so the book sculpture. What else highlights uh, the art show this year? So another modification that I've had to make is typically when we do printmaking, I'll give students um, a piece of linoleum and they'll use these tools to carve them out and, and then we print them with various color ink. Um, I couldn't do that this year because there wasn't a way to get kids the carving tools and the linoleum. So I modified that by um, giving students the option to use a styrofoam plate and they would cut a rectangle out and they would just use items that they could find at home mm. for carving. So some kids used pencils, some kids used a paper clip, and they were able to print them. So we're just kind of making the best with what we have, and um, the results have been really positive. That's great. So that, and that was part of the challenge of this time, and we're going to see great success. So you got to get up here and see it. Now, are we allowed to announce the commission artist for the year? Yes, and in fact, I also want to speak about last year's commission artist, if I may. Great. Um, sadly, the art show was canceled for last year mm -hmm. um, for obvious reasons, again. Um, the commission artist for the 2020 school year was Anna Belden. She did a beautiful acrylic painting of Blueberry Hill. Awesome. That will be on display at the art show this love year. Love it. My family love going over there. It's, it's a great depiction. Right, and she talks about in um, her write-up of that when everybody was on lockdown and it felt like we were all going crazy because we were stuck in our house, mm -hmm. being outdoors and visiting that particular location was um, a real relief for her to just kind of get outside. So there's some really important significance to that painting for 2020. Um, Belle Sutton, I'm proud to announce, is the 2021 commission artist. And she chose her subject for a similar reason. So she went with swings from the Ocean City Boardwalk for her work. And she talked about how that's a really popular um, vacation site. I know personally for myself, um, last year, I didn't want to leave the state of New Jersey for all the quarantine things yeah. that were going on. So I'm somebody that typically vacations at the Jersey Shore, but I would say, especially during this past year, that became important. So both of the subjects of the paintings have relevance to what's happening right now in the world. Um, and they will both be on display tonight, um, or I'm sorry, Friday night, so. Great, so the, the public access is through sign up only, and it is on Friday night from uh, three through to seven, but you gotta right. sign up. And uh, otherwise, we, we are thrilled with the product and the display of our students and the work that you and Ms. Patel have done, and it's gonna be a great experience. So don't miss out. Again, we're, we tweeted it, we're gonna email it out, sign up to see that. And really, again, it's all about the students providing opportunity for them and, and everybody be able to see what, they, what they've done. So great job, thank you. Thank you very much and thank you for all of your support. Of thank course. you to Ms. Patel. Um, I couldn't do this without her and thank you to all the students who are working hard at home. Very good and of course you have some staff that have been assisting you I and have. get it going and, and you have had it judged. You got some judges in to judge the, the pieces as well, which is great. So I'm sure the students are eager to see the results on that. Yep. Okay, so make sure you get to see the, the art show, and uh, that is all we have for this week. We wish you well, stay safe, sterling strong, and go Knights.